Hi, this is Gabriel Castro from ExoticWoodPen.com. In this video, uh, I'm going to be talking about something other than pens. I just made this uh, little recliner table, if you will. It is 36 inches on the top, all the way from one end to the other. And on the bottom, it is 34 inches. And I got a one inch recess uh, to make room for my belly. Uh, I rounded all the corners. And I just used a jigsaw to cut all that out. And uh, so there's no sharp corners and all the way around, even here on the inside. There was a crack in the board. And, um, you know, it, it was, it goes all the way down. This is just cheap pine. It's some craft wood that I got at Lowe's. I think this was a four foot board and it was like 15 bucks or something like that. Really cheap. So that's why I just went with pine ordinarily. If I was doing something really good, I would use some good walnut or something like that. But this is just for my recliner laptop table. So anyway, uh, let me show you how this works. Okay, so this piece of wood is uh, four feet long from one end to the other. And I'm cutting it down to 36 inches. The outside edge to this edge here and I'm tapering in one inch on each side of the line from here to here so the inside is or the lower side is going to be 34 inches and about nine inches in on each side I've got a mark here I've got it I used a compass to round that corner and I set that back about an inch and then that's going to be for my belly. So this is going to sit on the on the recliner itself, this part here. So we'll go and cut that out and round the corners. So as you can see, the board fits from end to end and it tapers back one inch after a foot drop. So it goes from 36 inches like I said to 34 after 12 inches and you can see the cutout Different angle view with the laptop on it and you can see how that works Why I made it so wide was so I could have room right here to write and take notes Okay, so As you can see I can study my homework take notes. I can use a mouse on the other side here without having to do anything weird. But the only problem was right here on the wrist when you're using the mouth, it kind of bugs. There's a little, little pressure right there. So I'll show you what I did. Okay, here we go. So this is the side where the mouse is. And you can see how the, it's an indent. I just took a sander when I sanded this down, coarse grit. I just put a small relief in there and you can see so now there's not quite so much pressure against the wrist. Okay, so when I get started, I put everything on here the way I would normally have it set up, but it's reversed. So all I have to do is just pick it up, rotate, sit down, and then I can get to work studying. I got on my nerd glasses. I'm uh, studying code, by the way, because of my back injury. So if you want to take the pressure off your back in the recliner, no problem. Uh, this is where that cutout is right here, or the sanded out section. So when your wrist is right here, it takes the pressure off the wrist so you can relax your arms. There's enough room where you can still write and take notes. I'm left-handed, so and, but I'm right mouse-handed. So that works out good for me using the mouse like a regular person, but I can still take notes uh, with my left hand when I'm working. And uh, anyway, this works out really good. It's got enough of a cutout for me right here. Uh, if you're thin, you don't have to worry about putting in a cutout. I was gonna put some drop down sides to keep it from uh, shifting, but because these arms are so wide and the weight, it's not necessary. Uh, so I don't have much room between my chair and the couch, so I didn't want to impede on anything right there. 
If you want to get fancy, you can put a piano hinge down the center and fold it down. Uh, with me, I'll just put this in the closet when it's not in use. So anyway, I hope this helps if you have a bad back like me or you want to take on something different, you want to learn code or you spend a lot of time on the computer. Uh, this is a good way to do it. I was sitting at the table as a desk so I could have enough surface and uh, it wasn't working out. It was causing me too much back pain. So anyway, this is uh, my $15 fix. So anyway, again, thanks for watching.